Hey everybody, it's Dean. I'm back again from Multi-Genre Music Man. Hey, you ever woke up uh, and just had a song playing in your head that you don't know why it's there, you haven't listened to it in a long time, but for some reason it's in your head? Well, that's what happened to me today. I woke up uh, with a song, Amy, by Pure Prairie League, uh, just stuck in my head, and I couldn't get it out of my head, so I decided to, to uh, listen to it. And I actually found out something while I was watching it that I never knew before. And I'm going to show you guys right here while we're watching it. So let's give it a try. I have heard the song before. And here we go. This is a live version. opens his mouth um i'll just let you know um i heard this song literally thousands of times and i never knew that the lead singer the original lead singer of this band was vince gill and that's vince gill right there with the guitar getting ready to sing once he gets singing you can definitely hear that it's vince gill uh later on down the road i guess they had to get a different um uh lead singer for it probably because he went on and did his own career in country music but uh I don't know how many other people didn't know that. They're just figuring that out, but I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, there's also, I'll tell you what the backstory is to this song later in the song, but here we go. But I can see why you think you belong to me. I never tried to make you think, to let you see one thing for yourself. Now you're wrong for someone else, and I'm not. I got wondering was once I knew that Vince Gill was the lead singer of this band I know he's married to a uh, famous country singer Amy Grant and then I got thinking I'm like I, he, this is, looks like it's recorded in the 70s there's no way he could have known Amy Grant back then I was like is it just a coincidence so I looked up the back story to this song and come to find out it was written by I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget uh, Craig sorry Craig Fuller, um, and this is a story he told. He said, uh, back in, they get signed to RCA in 1972. Um, this song had come out, but it was a flop. It didn't do any good. You know, it didn't do good on the on the records or whatever. Um, and they had a few other songs that they just also didn't do it very well. So a couple years later, um, I think it was three years later, RCA dumped them and uh, said that, you know, we don't, Want you, we can't use your music anymore. It's not doing that good. It's not doing good on the charts. Well, as soon as they got dumped, for some reason, all the college uh, radio stations and then uh, regular radio stations started picking up this song. Uh, and it became a hit, even though they didn't have a record deal anymore or anything like that. Once this became a, a number one hit, um, it actually, I guess it stayed up there for quite a while. But once that happened, um, uh, they RCA actually turned around and re-signed them again. They were due for a new signing and they wouldn't re-sign, but then once the song hit number one, they re-signed them. Um, I also found out Craig Fuller is the writer of the song, which means that just coincidentally, the lead singer happened to marry someone named Amy, but uh, he didn't even write the song. And also, I tried to find out who he wrote the song about. He said it was just an exercise in college on writing music. You just uh, write down whatever thoughts come in your head. He said the entire song was written that way. Didn't have a specific person in mind. It was just about a, girl, a guy who um, 
waited too long. You know, he knew he wanted to be with this girl, and he just waited too long to ask her, and then it was too late. And uh, and then his his got quote was, "You don't know what you got until it's gone." You know, he, he said that famous quote. Um, so it was actually written by Craig Fuller, which is another member of the band. He's one of the three members. So here we go. I'll actually hear the end of the song. I just wanted you to know what I found out. <laughs> guy's red overalls uh, the ones all the way to the right of the screen uh, he has these bright red overalls on they look pretty cool well, I know Vince Gill's always had a beautiful voice, but uh, wow, that was a really good ending. Um, I don't know what made this pop in my head this morning when I woke up, but I'm glad it did because uh, I learned a few things about the song and even who sang it. Uh, so if you liked uh, the song Pure Prairie League by uh, and they singing a song called Amy Live, um, if you liked it like I did, crash that live button, smash it, pop it, crash it. And then uh, go to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I'm at 123 subscriptions. It doesn't cost you a penny. I need 1,000 to be able to be monetized, so I need as many subscriptions as possible. Don't forget to share this video. That's what I meant to say first. Uh, share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, or send it to a friend and have them watch it. As long as it gets watched, it doesn't matter where you put it. Um, and then uh, lastly, if you have any ideas for a song that you want to hear, uh, you can write it in the comments below. If you have any questions, comments, anything you want, uh, write it in the comment of any song, and I will get it, and I answer back every person that writes me. Uh, until next video, this is Dean saying, have a nice day.